Hello and welcome. The Alliance for Young Artists and Writers is proud to present the 2023 Scholastic Art in Writing Awards. Today, we're celebrating more than 100,000 teenagers who shared their incredible art in writing this year and became part of a century-long tradition. Winners join the legacy of an extraordinary and diverse group of past award recipients, including people like Shabalala Self, Stephen King, Kay Walkingstick, Charles White, Joyce Carol Oates, and Andy Warhol. 2023 marks the 100th year of the Scholastic Awards. In celebration of our centennial, join us as we look back at what the program has meant to some of our alumni. In the following video, filmmaker Ken Burns, poet Ken Sal Drake, and illustrator Gordon C. James speak about the importance of creativity and recognition at a young age. These three alumni represent the millions of creative teens whose lives have been transformed by the awards and to have forged paths in the arts, literature, and beyond over the past century, including each of you joining us today. A new idea feels like you're about to have a sneeze. It feels like a hummingbird a bit, like moving really fast. And you like need to, I don't want to say grab it, but, but you need to pay attention to it. Tolstoy said that art is the transmission of emotion from one person to the other, and that works for me. When I'm really in the zone, it's, it's an awesome feeling. I would just wake up from a dream when the painting was done. Like It would be done and it would feel like magic. I couldn't even tell you how I did it. Creativity is freedom, like utter freedom and release. Creativity is cathartic. Anything in which the whole is greater than the sum of the parts, we want to find out what is that difference. And that's the creative pursuit. Usually when I feel like a poem is ready to either like go off into the world or I can put it away for a while, it's definitely when I feel like it's very honest and it's saying that thing that I wanted it to say at the beginning. Three-dimensional chess is a pretty complicated thing. Doing the kind of work we do is maybe four-dimensional. A good deal of creativity is about recognition. It's about speaking across human experience and we all expect our lives to be well-ordered, we want us to be happy, but in fact we are defined more by the subject suffering, by the loss, by the trauma that we experience. When I can't draw, I can just kind of like get lost a little in my mind and just start thinking about colors and shapes and placing things in different, in different areas on a page. You know, I could just zone out and think art. So that, that is one of the things that I, I really love to do. I started writing when I was very little. I pretty much knew that I wanted to be an an artist in general, and a painter in particular, probably by the time I was like 12. My mother had just passed away when I was 11, just a few months short of my 12th birthday. My father let me stay up late and watch old movies on TV, and I saw him cry at the James Mason film directed by Sir Carol Reed. I knew instantly I wanted to be a filmmaker. Storytelling was the first love language I knew. Everything that I have, all the knowledge, all the teachings, how to be as a person, especially as a Diné person, like, came from stories. My junior year of high school, my English teacher pulled me aside after class and talked to me about a poem that I had submitted for an assignment. And she told me that it was, it was good. She was the same English teacher who a lot of the time was telling me to submit to Scholastic. That encouragement changed I think the trajectory of like what I thought I could do as an artist and as a writer. The Scholastic Award is hugely important, has made an extraordinary difference. You're made aware because you've been since a kid reading Scholastic Magazine in school and out of school that there is now a place where they're asking something of you. Writing this short story and submitting it to Scholastic and having it be well received was a kind of verification. What a contest like Scholastic does is let you know that 
oh, okay, because these are the other people that are gonna be on this track, right? And here you are, you're right there with them. It's a huge confidence builder. I think that that is one of the best things that Scholastics does because you're competing at first with people, you know, everybody in your county and then everybody in your state and then every, you know, and it, you just, you just kind of keep climbing that ladder. Storytelling gives everyone a voice. It's a nexus for change and it's a nexus for connection. It's just something that I feel like is fundamental to how we find ourselves and how we interact with each other. Oh, the advice I'd give is the one I inherited. Go, see, do, be. Make something. Across the United States and Canada, nearly 46,000 teens received a regional award. Thank you to all of the educators, friends, and family who encourage young creatives to pursue their craft. Congratulations to every young artist and writer who courageously shared their work with the Scholastic Awards this year. Here's a selection of works that received a regional award.
Thank you for joining us to celebrate the incredible young artists and writers who make up the 100th class of the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. As a reminder, national awards will be announced on March 22nd. We would like to offer a special thanks to our partners around the country who make the Scholastic Awards possible year after year. We would not be able to do this without you. Once more, congratulations to all of the teams who entered the 2023 Scholastic Awards. We hope to see more of your work again next year.